Okay, this is my Marish 3 uh, MIDI player. Uh, this came out in 2014, and uh, I'd been keeping an eye on this for quite a while because he's been out for, jeez, uh, years and years and years until they come out with this particular version. And, and this is the one I was really keeping an eye on because. Um, since 2005 I've been uh, playing the backing tracks and I've run the gamut on uh, sound modules and PAs and, and computer run uh, programs in order to run these and I had real good luck with that but I wanted to really condense things down and that's what this Marish 3 does and uh, as you can see here I mean everything is self-contained you have the internal uh, MIDI engine. Um, this thing plays 386 sounds plus 46 drum kits and uh, with 480 samples on 128 megabytes which is pretty darn good. Very clean uh, playback. Um, it's got a cool 7 inch touch screen. You just touch to highlight see and then you can bring up whatever you want and then you can hit escape or stop oh there we go takes a second to get that to back up to the original screen there but this comes with a thousand MIDI songs all set up with the words on them and some of them actually have the chords the like guitar chords so it actually follows along as the song's playing you can sit there and follow along right on your guitar whatever which is what I like doing um, Another cool thing, it's got a built-in two-channel uh, mixer. This is for one microphone or a second microphone. And of course you got your high, mids, and lows, delay, and uh, reverb. And then you got your individual uh, volumes for the mic. Then you have the master volume of everything. And then if you're playing MIDI files, this right here controls the volume of the MIDI itself. And that's all. Not no other volumes are adjusted just the MIDI uh, backing track and same thing if you're playing an mp3 audio uh, it just turns that up and down nothing else is uh, changed and uh, of course you've got uh, you can plug in uh, there's inputs for plugging in like a guitar or keyboards anything like that and there's two channels for that this one channel is the one I use to when I plug my guitar in, I can control the overall volume uh, output. Same thing here, like say if there was a keyboard player or a bass player wanted to set in, you could plug him in and just control his individual volume without messing anything else up. Um, you want to do a quick search of a song, you just hit search, type in what you want, push OK, and if that song's in here, boom, it'll bring it up. You just touch it and uh, it'll start playing um, let's see what else here it's also got phantom power for the microphone in case you uh, need that that you can put that on but uh, here's that and then you can go into setup and you can set up your different microphone settings for sound um, you know, depending on what kind of microphone you have, but I don't fool with that. I just pretty much left that the way it is. The backing track equalizer. This actually I figured out only controls the MIDI uh, high, mids, and lows. And that's the only way you can control the overall sound of the MIDI. So if it sounds too bassy or too muddy in the mids, you just touch that and turn the wheel back and forth and get it to where you want it and it's in real time too so you can hear exactly what's going on and if you have a pedal you can set it up where you just push the pedal once it's a quarter inch jack that you can plug your pedal into and you can push it once to play push it again to pause it that way you don't have to sit there and keep hitting the buttons there with your uh, hand and also uh, uh, I haven't quite 
figured that out but uh, but you can change like uh, the Marish display which is this display which actually shows the words uh, they'll it'll scroll down and show the words and also you have a TV output you can't use like a computer monitor but you need an actual like a flat screen TV and I got one for like 115 bucks and it's like a what, 21 inch screen and uh, you just plug in a RCA cable from out back here to the um, monitor screen there and then you can just see the words out there on that monitor screen and that's it you don't see anything else um, the database anytime you put in new files or you mess with anything on here you need to hit uh, database and then you just hit hard disk and it it'll rebuild the database and it'll sense any kind of changes or anything that's new and it'll put it on that 64 gig hard drive solid state hard drive in there and always make sure you hit save anytime you uh, make a an adjustment like that then also you got your general info I have the version 1.16 update and then of course it uh, it just tells you how much hard uh, drive I've used up and uh, there's like 60 gigs free and I mean you could put a bazillion MIDI files in here and probably the same thing on uh, mp3s I mean it's well I've got uh, shows here I've got 1697 MIDI files and I got 46 mp3s and they're by 436 different artists and I made a, a playlist for when I, I go out and play. And I'll tell you that about that in a sec. But let's see. Yeah, we'll see. Well, right. But you get out of that. Anyway, um, yeah, if you want to, uh, you know, like on your hard drive, your main hard drive, push that. And if you push that right there, that's like all the subfolders in the hard drive and I made up my own like custom mp3s and you just turn this jog wheel highlight what you want to do and push this little button right here and boom it opens them up and it'll tell you how many mp3s you got and um, if you want to make up a playlist you just push there and if you want to now see I've already got presets I play at a place called Jack's so I got first set second set third set fourth set and if you want a new one you just hit new playlist and a screen will pop up type in the name you want to call it and then just start adding your songs like that and then when you're done you just uh, get out of the playlist and it will memorize it and so when you go to play that it will unless you have it on autoplay which means this thing will play one after another as the songs get done or you can set it up where it'll play a song and then just stop but it'll always advance it for you and the name of the current song will be up here and the next song will be down here showing down here kinda like if I hit right here see so here's the current song Mercury Blues and then this is going to be the next one that will be coming up to play. And it tells me that it's an MP3. And, um, yeah. Uh, what else we got here? That's pretty much it. I mean, uh, like I said, I, I had um, a small um, laptop, a sound module, which was a Roland XV5050. To play the you know all the sounds and then I had a small PA board right here right here that I played through I don't know if you can see that but I had you know different channels I have uh, I sing through this one and this one would have the bass and that have the drums and the keyboards and then I could control them individually but that was my old system but you know I had all that stuff and all them cables and I was like, like I said earlier, I was wanting to find a way to really compact everything. So that's when I decided to get this because this, it handles everything. 
It's your PA, plays your songs, um, and it does everything. Um, you can even actually add your own uh, lyrics. If you input a song in here, you know, add a song that uh, you know you you put in yourself, and there's no lyrics to it, you can actually um, set this up so that you can sync the lyrics to uh, your MP3 and save it and then it'll just play after that and then say if you're playing a song and it's like too slow or too fast you can hit just keep tapping that one way or the other to slow it down or speed it up and that little check mark will come up and if you like that setting hit that check mark and it from here on out it will play at that that different speed whatever you have it set up at same thing goes with a key now on a MIDI file you can pretty much get away with going up and down quite a bit but if you got an mp3 I probably wouldn't click this maybe no more than once down or twice max or take it up uh, a couple of keys because otherwise you'll start stretching that sound out and it won't sound good but um, that's it for that um, what else actually I've had this out already probably four times and it's already paid for itself. Um, I actually paid 560 bucks for this. I live here in Michigan in the States, United States. And of course this comes from the UK. Got, uh, got here in about four days and uh, yeah 550 right to the door. Like I said it comes with a thousand um, MIDI songs already put in there for you. Um, like, uh, oh, five, let's see here. Yeah, right. Let's see. Yeah, right there. I mean, that's all the songs that come with us. And if you want to look up the artist, you touch that. And, of course, you know, it's in alphabetical order. So if you like, um... I don't know. Um, well, let's see. Let's see. Well, like uh, Atlanta Rhythm Section, just for instance. There it is. There's two songs in that folder for Atlanta Rhythm Section. You just push that button, and it shows the two songs. And if you want to play that, whichever one you want, you just push that. Now the song's going to come up. And, of course, this song here is an MP3 that I put in there, and there's no words to it yet. Go figure. So, what I shall do is, um, let's see here. Oh, maybe this one did. Okay, now, see, I put the words into this version myself. And see what's going to happen? It, it'll come up, but it won't play it until I hit play. Or if I have the foot switch, I hit the foot switch and it'll start playing. But I won't do nothing until then. Um, and then when it goes to the next song, it'll bring it up and it won't play it. <coughs> I know a lot of people complain about their little programs that they cannot control, you know, the songs not playing one after another. And uh, so that... That's the beauty of this right here. This this right here will not do that. But there is a little checkbox uh, in the setup here, and um, if you tell it, it'll it'll play them one after another. You just sit there and just play and play and play them until you get to the end of your you know your set list. But um, let's see here. Another cool thing is I'm gonna go to my playlist here. Yeah, let's do that. Like, um, I tore down. Cool song. Now, if I want to get this to work, I don't have all kinds of instruments playing. I just hit edit. And then that brings up all the channels of the instruments that are within that song. So if I don't want to hear an overdrive Les Paul guitar, you just hit mute and it won't play that. 
Likewise, I like this piano, so I haven't muted it. And this right here, you can adjust the volume like that and leave it alone. Also, if you just want to hear the piano, you just hit solo, and that's all you'll hear is just that piano. So you can fine tune it. And if you don't like that particular piano, you can hit plus. Now that that shows the settings for that piano, the individual volume for the piano, the panning, because this is uh, stereo output. You can adjust that left or right. And of course, you got uh, built-in reverb and a little chorus. And of course, you can adjust the velocity, which means that means if you normal velocity means the notes are going to hit with so much intensity but if it's not loud enough for you you can move that up so it's a little more aggressive same thing with transposing if this is not where you want the piano the, that particular key you want it to play at you can transpose it up 12 semitones or 12 semitones down and of course you can add your own effect if you want but see like you could put in a chorus flanger or phaser your choice but anyway um yeah and if you don't like that piano in this song you push right here and of course here's a list of all the different pianos that you could uh, substitute it with and you just and it's real time so if i push this button this this setting right here, this Wurlitzer, will come on and you can start hearing it play. And if you don't like it, just move on to the next one. Maybe electric piano, maybe you like that better. But if you decide uh, you don't want to make any changes, just hit exit. And it won't ask you to save anything. Otherwise, it'll save it to that new instrument. And uh, same thing goes for everything else. When you see that plus mark, you hit that. And that's the tenor sax. If you don't like that tenor sax, just hit change sound. And for anything you want. It doesn't even have to be a saxophone. I mean, you, the list goes on. And it breaks it down into segments. Like that. And same idea. You can adjust the chorus or the reverb or pan it left or right anywhere in the stereo spectrum and that's your volume and it happens to be at full right now but if that volume is too loud you can do this you can adjust it where you want and if you like that just hit exit edit and um, that's it and then exit edit again and it asked me if I want to save this file because there were some little adjustments I made and if you like the new changes, hit yes. If you don't want it, you didn't want to change anything, just hit no. And there you have it. And of course, you got the mixer. Now this right here um, gets right to the point. So say um, you're jamming on this song, and a guitar buddy of yours shows up, or somebody on keyboards. You can hit mute, and it'll take out all the keyboards in the song, or same thing with the orchestra. If that gets a little annoying, you can hit mute, and that'll take out all the the brass instruments or, or whatever, and uh, you won't hear it. Same thing as if you have a drummer set, and you could hit mute, and then the drums will be gone, and everything else will be keep playing. And that's it. Get out of that. And also, this doesn't have the chords. This is pretty cool. Let's see if I can do this. Get out of here. Now, like I said, some of these songs, let me get in here. Whoop. Get back to the hard drive. The hard drive is the main, the hard drive within this unit, and these are all the sub folders that are on that hard drive. And, they, and, and the way to get to those is just touch that and hit that. Oop. And, uh, and if you don't want to get into the, that, you can uh, see now. There's one of the songs that come with this unit. But you do that, look at that. Uh, if you playing guitar to that, 
it'll show you your guitar chords as the song plays. It will show them changing. Uh, same thing for if you're on piano. It'll do the same thing. And if you just want the chords, uh, right there. It shows it like that. And this just means that it will show up on the TV, the separate monitor you got set up, or the LCD, which is here. And if you don't like it, you can... Yeah, you can escape it and get right out. Now, if you don't want to see all this while you're playing, you can touch off to the side and boom. All you're going to see are just the words. And then anywhere, just touch anywhere, and it brings everything right back up. Um, gosh, I don't know really what else. Now, if you want to... I can't really see it, but uh, right here... This little jack right there. You plug your cable into that, which would be this kind of cable, right here, this style. And then, of course, on the other side is your USB. That's the part that plugs into your computer. You plug that in on the side like that, plug the end in, other end in your computer. This will now show up on your computer you don't need any special drivers installed or anything it will sense it and it'll actually kind of creates it like an external hard drive but it'll it'll show up uh everything that's within uh this uh marish here let me see if i can come up with uh do -do -do -do. um i've got that saved so oh right right here See, now, this right here is what's inside Marish, except for now, whoops, you can't see that probably. Oh, well, <laughs> sorry about that, but anyway, it, it exposes all the folders, so you can add and subtract songs or whatever you want to do on the computer, and then when you're done, just unplug this. Turn the Marish off, turn it back on, go into setup, hit database, and then hit hard disk. See that? And it says, are you sure the operation will take some minutes? What it's going to do is rebuild the database of any songs that you've added uh, from the computer or if you've messed around with anything else. And you just hit yes. See? It's rebuilding the database. Might take a few minutes. Depends on how many. If you got a lot of files in here, it's going to take a minute for this to run and uh, sense any kind of changes. But do that every time. Anytime you fool this or manipulate anything, always go into the database and hit rebuild. And there it goes. So. Now it's found the new information, now it's rebuilding the database, and that's that hard drive that's inside. Hit save uh, after that. Boom. Now all the songs you've added from the computer are going to show up on here, and you're good to go. You could also put in a USB uh, stick like this. Put all your songs or your lyrics on here. Plug it into the side here. There's a USB port. Then when you do that, where'd that go? When you do that, that right there gets highlighted. That's the USB icon. And when you touch that, now whatever's on this stick is right here. I mean, and you can play off of that. Um, or whatever you know if you got a friend that comes over and says hey I want to play my songs he could plug that in and boom here they are lined up right there and it shows that there's one MIDI file on that stick there's five mp3s and just the one directory and you can sit there and play them and if you like them uh, you can just uh, you know add them on your quick list and it'll memorize it into the hard drive but um, I can't think of anything else. Like I said, I've played on this quite a few times out, and it was fantastic. I mean, everything worked perfect. It was flawless. You know, you get out there, bring up your main volume, 
hit play start jamming away if, if your vocals aren't loud enough just bring them up or down same thing on mic too if you have somebody on the other mic bring them up and down and then adjust their high mids or lows uh, and if the the backing track the mp3 is not loud enough you can turn it up or down that's the only volume that will change same thing with the midi right here midi up or down and then if overall you're too loud or too quiet you can turn this down or up and everything goes up and down as a group but it's just pristine the sound is absolutely incredible um, I'm loving this thing like I said I mean you can really on the fly edit your MIDI files you know if you if, if like say the like you got keyboards playing in one of your songs you can get right in there adjust the volume on that keyboard so it's not so prominent and then just hit save and uh, exit out of that and just keep right on playing and that's pretty pretty much it that's all I can think of right now but um anyway if I think of something else I'll come up with another video but for right now I don't know I've had people emailing me asking me a few questions on this and I've actually got a couple of friends that I've actually talked into buying this and they've got it and they're already playing out with it and they're happy as all get out so um yeah and it comes with a really great manual I mean it just it has it'll get you started it pretty much explains everything I've been saying you know it'll show you what all the uh, jacks on the front of this uh, unit do where to plug in fact I think you can even get this online you can download it if you go to uh, mlive.com and uh, I get all my tracks from hittracks.com they're pristine tracks they're built really well there's no garbage within the MIDI file like you would find on the freebies you see on uh, the internet which I've dealt with quite a few of them I can edit these I can dip right into a MIDI file weed out all the garbage and uh, you know put them back together and they'll play just fine but I'm just kind of finding right now I'm replacing a lot of MIDI files I got that were kind of questionable and I just paid the four bucks five bucks and uh, just bought the real nice ones and uh, same thing with the mp3s you can get really good mp3s or you can control what backing tracks you want to show up on it or you want them quiet or louder and those are only three bucks a piece and uh, I've got like I don't know 38 I don't know wait a minute I think it was what 45 that's what uh, what showed up before oh general info oh yeah I got 51 mp3s in here and yeah I mean look 1697 MIDI's 51 mp3's and I've only used up 0.9 gigabytes and I've got 60 gigs free so there's just no holding you back I mean none of that but it's unlimited with these these sticks memory sticks I mean you can load all kinds of stuff up on here and plug it in and just play right through it too I mean it's unlimited what you can do with this but uh, anyway like I said it's all I can think of right now if I come up with something else I'll make another uh, one of these videos so anyway hey thanks for checking this out and we'll catch you later